everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Divorce Woman's Guide podcast. How are you guys doing today? I hope that you're having a wonderful day. No matter where you are, what you're doing, perhaps your kids are out of school or they are about to get out of school. I know that my boys are finally finished and I'm actually really looking forward to summer. Um, today's episode uh, was inspired by some conversations that I have been having recently with some friends as well as some of my coaches. And the topic today might be um, a little interesting to some of you guys, but I'm really leaning into my spirituality and my intuition. And I wanted to share with you guys uh, some thoughts that I have been having around how people in our lives serve us and their role in our lives whether that be our former spouses or even those who have passed away. And I know from my own experience, as well as from conversations that I've even had with clients, and as I said, my coaches and with some friends, is that you know people come into our life for a reason. Our souls are brought to this earth and are intended to connect with one another for a reason. And I do believe that there are timelines that we have with not just ourselves and and God or spirit, whatever you may call it, but also our timelines with the people that come in and out of our life. And as many of you guys know, my mom recently passed away. Um, She passed away in January after about a four and a half year battle with ovarian cancer. And since her passing, I have done a lot of inner work. I've done a lot of healing. I've been leaning into the grief process that I have been experiencing, which truly has been a roller coaster. Um, Yesterday, I was a ball of tears. um, And today, you know, those emotions have, have ridden, I've ridden the wave through them already. However, they did inspire me to want to share some thoughts with you guys today, which has to do with this. Since my mom passed away, I had a couple of really rocky months personally, um, emotionally, and really needed to just take some time away and to just focus on me, focus on my kids, and also to focus on my father who is really adjusting to life by himself for the first time in 54 years. And during that time, I have felt like I have been really just very focused on other people. And and when I was able to really start focusing on myself, what I started to realize is that my mom is still with me. And I'm sure many of you guys listening who have had parents or relatives that you've been close to who have passed away, that you definitely feel their spirit you feel their presence, or perhaps you see signs that remind you of that person. And I definitely have been feeling my mom more so over the last, I would say, probably two months. Um, And the reason being is, is this, and I invite you to keep an open mind to what it is that I'm about to share with you guys. And that essentially is that I believe that where my mom is, okay, in in the universe and, and as what I do believe is one of my guardian angels, where it is that she is and how it is that she has navigated herself to where it is that she is currently uh, residing and where her presence is, is able to serve me in a higher way than had she remained physically here on this earth. Now, don't get me wrong, I would do anything, anything to have one more conversation with her, to just have her hug me one more time, to just, you know, feel her kiss on my cheek and and just to tell her, tell me that she loves me. I would do anything. And I also got to re-envision how it is that I connect with what that feels like, because I know that my mom still loves me and I can hear her voice saying that to me almost every day. Um, There have been times where I can smell her perfume. Um, I've smelled her perfume a couple of times where I've known that her presence is here. And I also know that she was so sick and so ill that she really was just living to survive until she didn't want to live to survive anymore. She wanted to 
um, give herself the peace, the freedom, the ease um, that was coming to her next. And as you guys also probably know, or if you don't, there is a lot of synchronicity with my mom and her cancer diagnosis because she was diagnosed with cancer the same day, um, hours after I asked my now ex-husband for a divorce. And I know that over the four and a half years that she fought a battle that honestly, she shouldn't have even lived that long. I know that she lived that long because she knew that I needed her. Um, and I know that I gave her a reason to fight and it finally came to a head on January 5th. And I remember having a conversation with my mom the night before, and I remember saying to her that I knew that she was tired and I knew that she was hanging on and I knew that it was time for her to let go. And I reassured her how I would take care of you know, my dad and that I, you know, I was in a really good place that, you know, I have a wonderful man who loves me, loves my kids to pieces. And, you know, we've committed to one another and, you know, we, we are, you know, we're each other's person. And I gave her permission, um, not that she needed it, but I told her that it was okay for her to let go. And that I would know that she was still with me because she would be able to really support me um, in her spirit better than she could with the condition that she was in. And I kid you guys not, I have never felt more supported by her. And she was very supportive of me and, and my career and my career change and the divorce and everything. Um, but I feel her and I feel her support and her presence in ways that I never have. And the amount of the way in which I've elevated myself, um, the grounding that I feel, the way that I've been able to show up, how I've navigated some really tough paths these last couple of months, I know I wouldn't be here or have navigated them anywhere near close to the way that I have without my mom and her presence and her guardianship as my guardian angel. And I really invite you guys to think about, you know, we spend so much time sort of in this 2D world that we live in, right? Or 3D world that we live in, right? We see things 2D or 3D, I should say. And I invite you guys to think about what might be possible um, on a whole other level, right? Like what I'm saying to you guys today, that I believe that my mom is supporting me, supporting my children, supporting my dad. And from a place where she gets to do that in a way that serves us better. And I wonder if you guys have ever thought that or had that experience about anybody that has left your life. And, you know, and even to the point where, I do believe that, you know, my ex-husband is also serving me, right, in a way by us not being together. And there is a purpose for why we are not together, um, because I know that I wouldn't be where I am today had I not been through all of those experiences. And I also know that I have this really deep spiritual connection with my mom. I believe that we were connected in past lives. I believe that wholeheartedly she wants the highest and best for me at every given step, every given stage of my life. And she's there supporting me. And I invite you guys to think sort of outside the box of who might be, who else might be supporting you guys spiritually. And to know that you do have the opportunity to connect to that higher power, whether that be a parent that is past or a close friend or relative, but to spirit, right? We all have guardian angels that are watching over us. And I encourage you guys to engage them with your desires and your wishes and your dreams, because God knows I talk to my mom every single day. And I know she's with me because the sign that she sends me, that she told me she was going to send me were butterflies. And I know that that might seem common to some of you guys. It's uncommon for my mom to have told me that. I actually thought it was going to be something else. And that's the sign that she told me. And every day, you guys, every day, I talk to her, I 
ask for guidance and I see a butterfly in some way, shape or form. And you guys know, I work from home, not outdoors a lot. Right. And sometimes it's on social media. Sometimes, you know, last night I went to go pick up dinner and all of a sudden there was like a fountain with mosaics in it. And there was a butterfly in front of this restaurant that I was picking food up at. And, you know, I invite you guys to just stay aware. Awareness is so incredibly important as it is that you are navigating wherever it is that you are, wherever you are on your path. Life is happening for you. And there are people who have your best interests at heart. And sometimes our lessons are learned in ways that we don't like or ways that we wish would happen differently. But just know that there is a higher power guiding you, supporting you, and has your back right? The universe has your back. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode. I always love to hear your feedback. So please feel free to share it with me. You can reach out and email me at wendy at wendysterling.net. Don't forget to join my Facebook group, The Divorce Rehab, to really be a part of an incredible community of women who are supported. And if you require more support, I've got some amazing, amazing programs and courses that might be of interest to you guys. So never hesitate to schedule a call. Contactwendy.com is how you can schedule one of those. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Would love for you guys to not miss a single episode that comes out every single week. Sending you all so much love, light, and joy as always. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.